Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Last time we managed to make a, a web server here on our device. And I do want to, to uh, make a slider there. Uh, so for, for adding a slider, I have to add here, I have to alter my, my web page. All right. So I'm going to write now uh, something something else else print line. I will need this more often. The first thing I need to, to do is I have a form yeah with an ID. Uh, this is I don't know. Right, then I make a new, then I make a new P and a new a new area. Right. Then somewhere down here, I will end this form. This is typical HTML syntax. Uh, I'm not going to explain this right now. Maybe later a little bit. This I don't know anymore. I don't need anymore. Good, so we have a form. In between, we want to have a form. And of course, there is a tag which is called input. Input. And the, the type, the type is range, it's called. Range. Uh, the name is bright. And then I can adjust the minimum value. What is the minimum value? The minimum value shall be zero always. Yeah. And the maximum value. What is this? What is, what is the 2047? Is this really true? 11 bits, 2047. All right. Yes. And maximum equals 2047. And the start value, what is the start value? The current brightness. It should be the current brightness. Uh, this, this is then print. And then I will add here a value equals. Then I make HTTP client print. And, and this is then uh, brightness. No. Brightness set point should be the set point, of course. Bright set point. And it's also not 2047. How? Uh, what is the maximum? Because it's already, it's already 2600. It's 4000. Is the Where do I read the brightness? Brightness. Measure analog. Read analog in. Okay. Okay. Should be four thousand four thousand ninety-five. Okay. Bright set point. And HTTP client dot print line. The actual value is set. And I will give a class name, which is a slider, why not, slider, and an ID, uh, which will be bright set, brightness set point. All right, that's it. That's then this part, and a new part. Uh, a submit button, yeah, or I will print the power, yeah, HTTP client print actual brightness set point, and then I will have a spawn <laughs> bright set point. And I will immediately close this span. This is I do because there I want to have fill in the, the web page itself uh, a value. All right. 
Then I will close P. I will add a new P. I think this looks more more convenient. Okay, then I will have exactly this. And I will have an input of type submit. This is a submit button. Mm -hmm. Submit a uh, name. Name, I'll give it a name. Uh, set button. And the value shall be set. Set brightness. This is the caption of the of the then of course I have to end this this P. Mm -hmm. Alright. I will not I will not perform any any style sheet things and so on. I just want to, to have it bare HTML so that it runs. Not exactly bare HTML because now I'm adding a script. JavaScript. Alright. And I will have here a var slider equals document get element by ID. And this element I want to get is uh, actually the slider, which is called bright set. Bright set. Hopefully, write everything correct here. Because actually, I'm now in programming, and then we have an output. And this ID is where where did I write this? Is. Here I want to write it. Here I want to write it. Uh, and I will say output dot in HTML equals how is the slider? What what was the slider? Uh, slider yeah dot dot value. Good. So we should print this out, the value. Mm -hmm. And then we will add a new function as well. Slider dot on input. So if somebody is moving the slider, is a new function. And we will do this here. We will put it out as well. So we're not just putting it out. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's try to upload. Let's try to upload. Why not? Uploading process failed. Oh, it's not working. Web server started. Wi-Fi IP. 11. Alright. This with this IP address, I also have to find a solution somehow. Ah, look at that. Yeah. But actually, it's not changing. Set brightness. Okay, I have submitted somehow. Okay, I have not processed this. I have not processed this. But here we see already set and set brightness. Bright is 2018. I changed to 2018. Why is it not? Why is it not changing on the fly? Slider dot value on slider on input. Maybe I should display the code, the web, the, the code. Okay. Script slider dot get element bright set. This should, ooh. Aha. Here is missing a slash. I'm not ending this span. I've written a backslash, this was wrong. Here, this is how it should look like. Hopefully it's now working. 
because in there there should be the value should be written the value well it was already there on input it's also wrong on input of course on input input that's the reason why it did not update that's the reason We're already up and running. Uh, uploading. Okay, we're running. Refresh. Ah, look, now it's working. All right. I can select and set brightness. Then I should change the brightness somehow. And we see the brightness is there in the get request with the new value and I want to have this value mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I need to find out how to process this so there is a request yeah? here that's, that, that's the request what was this type of request this submit was it also a get request or not was a get request HTTP client connected all right it was a get request. How to access the query? I have to have a look at this. Mm -hmm. So I need to somehow access here. Okay, I connect it. Available. So what was this? Get. HTTP client connected. Uh, get brightness 2600 and so on. Okay. So okay, we have a slider. We have a slider. We can use this slider. Uh, now, next step then is to find out how to process this input. So it seems like we are receiving this input here. And now we have to find out how to access this, this data here. Okay, I have to do a little bit reading and then we'll know, hopefully. For this done. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.